Hello, and welcome to another episode of Teaching with Smartboard, hosted by myself, Scott Miller, and David Sladke. We're glad to have you join us again. Dave, what episode are we on? Three to the third power. Wow. That would be? 27. 27. Hey, this is our third uh, perfect cube day. Yeah, it is. One cubed, cubed, which is one. Two cubed. Which is eight. Three cubed. Which is 27. Four cubed, I don't well, know if we're we'll going to get there. I think we will. Oh, you think, think so? We okay, yeah. well, that'd be fun. Yeah, we might be pretty old by then. <laughs> Smartboard <laughs> uh, lesson podcast is at 140 or something, wow. so I'm, I admire them for yeah. all the work they've done. Yeah, we've got a ways to go. Yeah. All right, so we have teaching with Smartboard with what kind of emphasis uh, today? I think we're a math emphasis again. All yeah, right. all right. Woo. Feeling comfortable? Yes. Very Back comfortable. with math. That's okay, right. excellent. So, as you can see down here, we have our website, which you can go to and grab this particular set of slides and notebook and other places that you can go to grab this podcast and our previous 26 other podcasts. Right, that we've had. right. And we are in Naperville. Wait Aurora, a second. Where is Naperville? I see Chicago. I see Chicago. I see Aurora. Okay. But let me see. I'm going to touch this balloon. and th oh, oh, here it comes. Here Slowly. There know. it is. All right. So you pop the balloon for pop us? Pop the balloon. All right. And so you can see Naperville. Mm -hmm. That's one of the animations on any object. You can oh, pull. okay. Okay. All right. So uh, it, feel free to give us an email. Yes. We'd love to hear from you. Sure. What's happening today? Well, uh, our discussion today is about balloon structure. Our tip and tutorial is about building a balloon lesson. And then we've got this frog game, but not to let the air out of your... <laughs> balloon or anything else like that you got to ignore the fact that this test is or game is for second grade test oh boy is it a t well, well i don't know out. we'll find out okay um i was thinking odd game okay hot air with this balloon stuff oh, oh, okay. okay lots of hot air okay well here's the balloon structure okay this is just a um uh a question you'd pose to your students okay so it's put all the balloons that are solutions into the hand that our solutions to x is less than three. Right. So how does this work, Dave? Okay. Of... Well, we'd have the students brainstorm with pairs in pairs in their okay. uh, desks. They'd talk about it with each other, then find which they try to think about which ones would be the right answers. Okay. So then they go up and they try to see if they get the right answer. So they, for instance, let's say, uh, let's say zero. Okay. Okay. Let's touch zero is, and we can highlight that. All right, and okay. then we move it over. Okay, so we right put it to the hand. right in the hand. Okay. So that one's a solution. Okay. So does that work with any particular balloon that you select? Like well, you maneuver some, anyone to the hand? Some are not answers. Oh. So well, let's check that out. Okay. What, let's say six. Six definitely is not less than three. Okay, so let's see what would happen. So we'll touch that balloon. Oh, it disappeared. It's gone. <laughs> That's right. So that balloon has helium in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hot air, right? Sir? Oh, hot air. That's right. Okay, okay so uh, that's not an answer, so they couldn't slide that over. Mm -hmm. All right. Five? Uh, I think that may disappear. May. Oh, oh it's it gone. does. Okay. There we go. So the students would then pick out the right ones. Oh, that one didn't fly. That away. one didn't fly. So that's a solution. So they put all the ones, mm -hmm. and you'd have them come up one by one. Sure. Uh, or they could pick two balloons at mm -hmm. a time. And it's not just um, mathematics. We're talking about any kind of right. thing that That's you right. want. That's right. Now, I'm sure all of our listeners and viewers are wondering, how in the world did we make that? Right. Right. And that's that's a good question. I thought we'd just go slide by slide okay. to good. do that. Okay. Because these are pretty easy to make. Some people are intimidated by uh, this, but it's, it's really easy to make and kind of fun. So you went to your... Local florist and right. bought a bunch of balloons and then smushed them onto the screen. That's right. right? Okay. right. Flatten them out. Okay. Well, just go to a blank screen. Okay. We get the circle. Okay. And remember, the circle is is right down here, and we can make a. I made a circle. But, um, you can make it oblong if you want oh, sure. to make it more sure. balloon-like. Okay. And then I took the next um, slide. As I I took a line feature down here. Mm -hmm. You just draw a line. Sure onto the circle yep and then what i did there is i just drew in that's like the little you know with tie tie oh yeah, yeah. i wonder i don't know if people knew what that was oh, i okay. i looked at the balloons before i did it and it kind of looked um didn't look right without that little thing there so, i see yeah so i had that okay so the next thing i did okay 
um, I had to group them together. Okay. And that's that's important because you know you got uh, these three pieces: the circle, the right. line segment, and then your little tie tie thing. Tie tie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can just select it all okay. at one time. Sure. I just drag down diagonally, go to the drop down box, hit grouping, and group it. Mm -hmm. And there it's all grouped. Okay. Then I have a master. Okay. So you can see now I made that. An infinite cloner. Okay. And that's all. All you just select it and hit infinite cloner. All right. So now, whenever you grab it. You can make as many balloons as you want. Right. Okay. So that's, you know, instead of just hitting the clone button, you just grab them. Mm -hmm. And then you can take out as many as you want. Okay. Okay. Then I got all the balloons that I wanted. Alrighty. Okay. And then I just selected one. Okay. I actually, I think we had to undo that one. You got to undo the infinite cloner, otherwise it won't fill in. Okay. Okay, so let's undo that and let's go to the properties. Okay. And once we're in the properties, we're going to hit the fill effects. Okay. All right. We talked about this in our last mm -hmm. podcast. Sure did. And you chose a solid fill for a color. Correct. Okay. And I like these kind pastel of colors. Pastels. Yeah, that's right. right. I was looking for the word. Okay. So these pastels. Okay. And just fill in each pastel, uh, each balloon a different pastel. Just select them, and you'll you go through them, and you can fill all the balloons with different colors. With different colors. Alrighty. Wow. It's pretty easy. Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. And a neat feature: you didn't have to ungroup all of that to color right. in and fill in That's that right. particular balloon. Okay. And so I filled in all the balloons. I'm at this stage. Okay. And now. Uh, what I wanted to do is put in some words. So you can just type in words or you can draw in words or letters in this case. Or uh, numbers. I did numbers, right? Numbers. So let's say 18. And okay. now this is a tricky part because you probably want to put all the, the numbers at once. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, it'll be all in one text box. That's right. That's right. So what I do is I go back and touch the select button. And then go back and touch this button again, and then I can write the number. Yeah, then I can write the number a different area, mm -hmm. like my writing. Sure, very nice. Another way of working with this then too is you can have sort of a touch point. So if you write the number three, and then you have a point over here, oh, where you touch, and that's then come good. back, and then add another number. Mm -hmm. Now they're not going to be in the same touch okay, box. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, so now, uh, what we have is we have all these different pieces that are not connected, mm -hmm. but, and you know what there, oh, it I was did. interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm going to delete that. Uh, actually, if we go, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If we go to this and we hit five and go down mm -hmm. to the next line, that will also change it if okay. it's on different levels okay, gotcha okay but anyway um we need to to now select this and con hit control remember we did that yeah, control select the balloon that it goes S with select the balloon so i got both pieces i need to group them together okay and hit group now for our question this was not an answer okay so we go to the properties tab to add the animation feature correct okay so i'm going to go object am animation to make it Fly away. Fly away. And it's fly out. Okay. Okay. Oh, but it's going left. Well, how, how do you change that? See its direction oh, here. Oh, okay. All right. So we just go top. So there it goes. Good. And then you just do that for each balloon. Mm -hmm. And now, remember, we didn't do anything for the balloons that were answers. That's right. So there's only a couple non-answers. Okay. So you don't need to do it for each. And then you just go back. And then write in your questions. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I mean, then the, here we go. It's, we have our all our, uh, put our question up here. Mm -hmm. Now, I made the hand. I just got that out of the gallery. Okay. And, um, you know, you, you can do that. And I locked the hand, so the words, okay. and those down as well. Okay. All righty. So it's not bad. Now, of course, we always like to make a key. That's correct. Because... We don't like to have them, you know, just just to for sure that we know mm -hmm. that it's working and all. Sure. 
So there we go. Yeah. And That's... since you got it all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you did. Well, that means then that you did a good job, so... Wow, that's Glenn, pretty cool. Yeah, so you got that animation. Hooray! Right. I don't know if you heard that. That's That makes a sound. That's from the uh, gallery. Mm -hmm. I love that. Hey, uh, Scott, speaking of balloons, okay. I read this on a blog today. Oh, you did? I did. Kent Couch. Okay. He was uh, a guy from Oregon. Right. He flew 193 miles aboard a lawn chair. That was attached to? 105 helium balloons. Oh, boy. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, boy. I can't wow. believe that. That's, that's, so I got the blog post here if you're interested in seeing more about it, but it's it's kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd be ready to do that. I, I don't think I would recommend that. No. Looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, it'd be kind of fine, fun to fly that many miles, but <laughs> I don't know the way uh, the way we can... Um, you know, that wouldn't work out well for me. Sure. My family, I don't think, would like that either. No, you're kind of flying by the seat of your pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the frog game. A frog game. Friend. All righty. There's the frog game. I've attached it to this file. Okay. Okay, so uh, you, you guys at home here can grab it off the attachment file. See the tab over here? You can mm -hmm. just grab that. Sure. It's an Excel file. Okay. We want to move the brown frogs to the left, the green frogs to the right. Okay. So you just tap on the frog. I do this with my students all the time here at the beginning of the year. And then the frog moves. Yeah, he was kind of slow. Yeah, he was. Now, what happens if you tap this frog over here? Oh, that frog oh, likes... Will he actually move? Yeah, he does. He got him on the back. On the back. There you go. Oh, he jumps over he, the other frog. He does. Oh, wow. So you want to get all these guys over there and all these guys over there, and it's really quite fun. Mm -hmm. And you didn't read that, did you? Just, no, just I just hide that. Sort of ignore that. That says, you know, that's up Second there. Second grade computer test in China. Yeah. I think something was lost in the translation there. Yeah, maybe. Like a one, you know, 12th <laughs> grade computer test. In so China. I've had a lot of fun with my students okay. with this. And, you know, feel free to to try that with your students on the smart board. It's real fun. Okay. And the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, you've, you, I think you might have introduced me to this. Mm -hmm. Really great. Uh, storage area. Right. And uh, this particular uh, website has a lot of different games that you can use in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And one of them is actually just the same as the frog game, but it's used in terms of pegs. Okay. So that's exactly the same mm -hmm. game. And what a lot of times what's neat here is this particular problem had three frogs on either side. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times students will get frustrated with the game not being able to solve it. Mm -hmm. So to make the problem easier, you go to changing it to two pegs. Oh, I see. And then work with a simpler problem sure. and then scale Find it Find the pattern there. that works. That's right. That's terrific. So I hope you uh, enjoy the frog game. Let us know if you get it right away. Yeah. Actually, let us know how, how it works out for you. That's right. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. That's right. Submit a lesson idea or just talk, you know. Or send us another good joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's right. Well, thanks for joining us. We uh, have enjoyed uh, doing these podcasts and hope you get something out of them. Yes, we do. And we look forward to next week. Yep. Take care. Have a good week, Scott. You too.